I'm sure some will argue associate membership with the EU would simply dilute Brexit and create a two-tier system that could ultimately undermine British citizenship. And some will no doubt argue that if Brits were offered associate citizenship of Europe, we'd have to do the same to any Europeans wanting to come to work in our hospitals or build our houses or clean our streets. But apparently not. Um, Gorin said he'd be very happy for just UK citizens to be offered the deal. The one question in my mind is, is how much would it cost to buy associate membership of uh, the EU? And I'm afraid to tell you, no one's saying. I do know that we have to pay around 1,100 quid uh, for a passport if you want dual nationality of the UK. So maybe that figure could be helpful. Uh, it's uh, certainly a lot cheaper, uh, one might argue, or a lot more expensive that than the... Um, well, I've, I was just thinking about what we actually pay per household to be in the EU. I think they said something like £228 a year. Do you think there's anything in the idea, Lowry? Um, I think it's, it, it does sound like the last gasp of people who are desperate for us to remain within the EU, isn't it? it, it so, I don't... I, I can honestly... Could you honestly or, see...? Or, 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 a, or a, a, a sympathetic compromise for a hard Brexit, that we're going to leave... On my list of people that I feel sorry for, somebody who's got a lovely house in the Dordogne doesn't come that high. I'm not that worried, really. I'm much more concerned about the people in this country who did vote leave and therefore their views should be honoured. Mm. Um, and so I think that there are far more people from the EU living in this country than there are living... Yeah. And then uh, Brits living abroad. Yeah. So perhaps the, this, the, the guy from Luxembourg is happy to offer this um, option because... 1.2 million is fairly small numbers. The, could the issue has to be what would be the reciprocal arrangement. Well, that, that, That's the big yeah. thing, isn't it? And because we, there's no why on earth would Europe say, yes, you can all have associate membership and we won't ask for the same. Of course they'd ask for the same. Because well, the wouldn't, you wouldn't, as a it? nation, necessarily benefit from it. You're talking about as an individual, yes, but as a you could be but free. Either, one it. of the problems we've got is that is there are certain governments, for example, the Bulgarian government or the Polish government, they have to get elected, and their electorate has to vote for them, and therefore it is in their interest to do things that mm. they're elect that benefit their electorate, whether they're living in the UK or elsewhere. So I think that there's, there's no doubt they're not going to give us anything for free. So this just adds another layer of negotiation. I think we've got quite enough to negotiate If already. it was offered, would you buy it? Personally, no. Why, why would I buy it? Because one day you might want to live in a nice house in the Dordogne. Yeah, but when I look back to my, my parents' generation, they didn't assume it was their right to, to uh, be able to live anywhere in the world. They were British, they, they assumed they'd live here. So, I don't think that's, to me, it doesn't seem a massive problem. If, if you're somebody with unique skills and you can offer those to another country and they want to buy those skills, fantastic. If you just fancy having a home in the sun, oh. that's a luxury okay. that may not be available. I mean, it's worth stating, although I can't believe it would be the case, ultimately, but it is possible at the moment that there are member states blocking notions that uh, UK nationals in the EU should be able to say any EU nationals in the UK mm. should be. So there are member states blocking that. If that block was to remain, you're talking about forcing 1.2 million Brits out of their homes in Europe and bring them back here. I think if, if, if associate membership was on the table, presumably that would be a fairer. That would be the way out. I think of that. it's much more likely that the issue is the three million who are living here, and that that's what they want their their right to live here secured. And therefore, in fact, we hold the much stronger cards. This is one of the few areas in which we do hold a few okay. cards. Would you buy it if it was offered? No, I don't think I would. I, I, I don't think it Not, actually happened. So you wouldn't be performing any comedy gigs on the continent? <sighs> in French, no. I, I don't think it would happen anyway. Eddie because... Izzard can. Just say, well, yeah. just say. I saw Eddie the other day. He was telling me about it. He was telling me, he was trying to encourage me to do it in German. Um, it's a complete non-starter for us, I'm concerned, because the EU, uh, the, the crumbling EU, if they continue, continue with the euro, is going to fall apart at some point. They cannot offer anything to the United Kingdom that will undermine... The, the, the EU. And, and so, mm. if, they, if they granted this concession, then that will encourage other states to think, well, we can have the equivalent of their Brexit light. So, the, 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 they're, they're trying to keep this edifice together, and by doing that, they're just going to add another crack. So, they won't be able to offer this anyway, and I don't think people will want to, to buy it. I, I agree with Lowry. Those countries, the 1.2 million Brits, those countries want those Brits to stay there. They're taxpayers, they're very cash-rich often, they're buying services, they're producing wealth in those countries. They will not want to lose those people. And conversely, I think, the people in this country who are from the European Union, equally, we wouldn't want to lose them, because they're ingrained, they're providing a service. So there will be a compromise made anyway on those people. Well, do you, is associate membership that kind of compromise, that it would actually resolve the issue straight away? People could come and go? No, because then that, that, that creates, then, uh, a gateway.
for other nations to say, well, what we're going to do is we're going to do the yeah. same as Britain, and we want the same gateway. Yeah. So they can't allow that to happen because they know it's crumbling. It is. They're not growing. The EU is not growing. The euro is unsustainable. So they're, they're trying to keep something together, but they can't. OK. What about you, Reiki? Would you buy into it if it was offered on the table? Some kind of EU passport? I would, but I don't think I'd be able to afford it. I think it would be really expensive. I don't think it'll happen. It's a level of bureaucracy nobody will have the heart for. Um, and you're you are talking about the EU, which is, as we know, as, as bureaucracy goes, they can well, reach levels of bureaucracy well, previously true. unimaginable. It could, it could give somebody a job. I think <laughs> it would be massively expensive um, if it ever came about. And, uh, and so it would be for, as, as Larry said, uh, an elite group of people who can probably travel anyway without it. And I just, so I have to, I have to just pick you up on your parents' generation not seeing it as their right to live anywhere. Yeah. I think through time, the British have felt they could live anywhere in the world that they wanted to. I just have to... Uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand what you mean. They, they kind of pick a... They, they, through time, people would pick a spot and just sit there, wouldn't they? And make it their own and call it home, and, and that's why my relatives and ancestors called this home. If, uh, if, it, if it was on the table... Do you think it would do anything to bring the two sides of Remain and Leave closer together? No. So No. I think that's, that's something we're just going to have to work through, like any other um, family dispute, really. I think it's something that we will just get on with, in the way that, that families can have a real old bust-up and then decide that they have to go to place, the party. I mean, look, look, there's a massive split in the country when should we join the Euro? There's a huge... There's, there's a general election based on shall we keep the pound or shall we join the euro? And I thought it was just a general election. I didn't realise it's a single policy well, election. It really, well, William Hague... This Hague's, is the trouble with history, isn't it? Rewriting well, history is a general William, election. William Hague, a ran, William Hague ran on we're going to keep the pound. Mm. Tony Blair ran on we're going to join the euro. And there was a big split and we didn't join the euro and that's all now become part of history. That's not how I remember that election, but if that's how you do, I'll have to respect that. Um, I am trying to, as you probably know, desperately trying to find ways to bring the two sides together. And I do wonder if associate membership of the EU could be it. Do feel free to comment and give us a thumbs up if you feel inclined. For more clips from the show and exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, click here. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button here to be automatically informed when new videos are available. Links to our other social media platforms can be found in the description. Thanks for watching.